welcome y'all. It is Felicia here with Tamika and we are the co-owners of Let Me Plan It. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming, well, it's out now. So we have Virgin Voyages, which is a, the newest cruise line. And they have finally launched their ship, first ship, the Scarlet Lady. This particular cruise was supposed to, cruise line was supposed to launch last year, but we all know COVID changed everything. So they've been sailing now since July, August timeframe. And I'm personally very excited because I will be on the Scarlet Lady in December. So we will be hosting a few different um, Let Me Plan It style events from the Scarlet Lady. I'll definitely be sharing on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So look out for more content to come. But today I just want to talk a little bit more about this particular cruise ship, what its offers are. And I'm just... I'm just thrilled. I'm excited. I can't, I can't speak enough. I, I mean, there's just so much going on. So I guess I'm going to dive right in into some of the things that I'm excited about. And um, Tamika, feel free to chime in whenever. So the first thing I'm excited about is the way they designed the, the cruise line. So the way they designed the ships. So the ships are slightly different than um, some of the ships that we're used to. So they have some really expansive, really beautiful balcony suites on the back of the ship. So you can have that unencumbered, gorgeous views that normally, you know, you don't, there's not a, necessarily as much on the, the front of the ship, right? So it's like, it's just there, it's pristine, it's <sighs> calming. So I just want to share a little quick video with you guys on um, just what the ship looks like and uh, what to what to expect. Oh, nice! Right? And see, look at that gorgeous view from dining. You really can't beat that at all so I'm, I'm super excited i can't i can't say it up i'm so excited <laughs> now i am like the concept of an uh, exclusive like adult only ship now that is definitely a plus for this cruise line because mm -hmm. you know, i know oh my gosh when you're cruising during the summertime if you don't have children with you when you're dealing with like the pool areas <laughs> and sometimes the buffet areas during summer vacation time, it can sometimes be a bit overrun with the little ones. <laughs> I feel that this particular cruise line will not have the issue of the summer and the spring break and this holiday and the, that holiday that's tied in with the children time off. It won't. I mean, there obviously are teachers and things like that and administrators who are off during that same time who might be looking for a trip away from the children. We don't want to see kids. <laughs> we just want to be around other adults. So, yes, this being an 18 plus. So if you have older kids, <laughs> they can come with you. But no one under 18. So I'm very excited about that, too. This will be my first time going to going on an adult only cruise line. There is. Um, Viking, I believe, is an adult only crew. Oh, their ocean cruising is adult only. So I think that might be the only other one that ex is explicitly adult only. But most cruise lines are family friendly for sure. So I wanted to um, just talk a little bit about the food as we got a little bit of a hint of before. Um, I'm really, really, really excited about the different food options. You know, normally I'm a buffet girl. I like to like grab a couple things and I'm good. Like I'd be able to get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But on Virgin Voyages, they do have over 20 different eateries. So I'm very excited about this more intimate, smaller eatery type situation because they do not have buffets and they do not have large dining rooms like we're used to on other ships. And, you know, there'll be, they're trying, they have options for everyone. There's a vegetarian restaurant. So, you know, even if you're not vegetarian, but you're just not feeling for anything heavy and meat heavy, why not go get a salad or something from the vegetarian spot? They have a dessert. Um, so they have a dessert ice cream parlor, which I'm super excited about. And I have a picture here, just a little, little teaser. 
of what to expect when you are, okay, this is not what I wanted to share, but sure, we can look at this too. Um, hold on, let me go back. There you go. I know I clicked on the dessert one. Not quite sure why it's not showing it. Can you see the dessert one, Tamika? I do. Okay. Well, to me, it's not showing. <laughs> so, but as you can see, we have a lovely array of ice cream that you can get. Um, as we know, it's, this, this is a cruise. All the eating is included. So there are no specialty dining restaurants on this ship that you have to pay extra for, which is fantabulous on my mind. Because I will be at the Korean barbecue restaurant. I don't know about you, but I love Korean barbecue. So yes. I will be at the Korean barbecue restaurant quite frequently on our trip. I'm excited. I can't wait. I love Korean barbecue. So, um, but as others, they have the steakhouse, they have um, Asian food and things like that. So there's a lot of options for everyone, which I think is a plus. They do mention that they can provide um, gluten and some vegan options as well. So definitely if you um, have gluten allergies or you eat gluten-free or, um, or you are vegan, it's important to let your travel agents know so they can have that indicated on your record and also to follow up to make sure that they, the um, concierge are aware and that they follow up with you and make sure that um, there are options for you to eat besides fruit and salad. Because <laughs> no one wants to go on vacation and deprive themselves of deliciousness, for sure. I have heard from other people that the pizza aboard the ship is supposed to be fantabulous. And, you know, from ladies that have lived extensively in Chicago and New York City, we should be like pizza connoisseurs. I'm looking forward to trying it. And they do also have a 24 hour eatery, which has pizza and other things that you can get after leaving the bar or something like that. You don't have to go to room, call room service and pay any extra delivery fees or anything. You just go to the 24 hour eatery, which is also a great option. Another thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is that this particular Cruise Line, I personally feel, includes a lot for the price. They are, if you look at, at just the price, they are a little bit more of a premium brand. It's more of a boutique style experience, but they also include more. I would say Wi-Fi wi is included. You don't have to worry about paying every day for internet, which is fabulous on my mind. You don't have to pay additional gratuity you don't have to pay a gratuity every day now if you're like me if you get fantabulous service you will slip a little extra something something and i say that's what i do to do it but it's not an extra cost on your day-to-day -day bill so when you do get your bill at the end it's like your drinks and anything you've purchased and things like that it's not necessarily i had to pay for wi-fi i had to pay for gratuity you know, basic beverages are included. So juice, you know, um, and things like that are included. Liquor and fresh squeezed juices and coffee and things like that are not included. But hey, basic beverages, I'll take it. Yeah. I want to say soda is included too, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and also, this is probably the only cruise line I've seen this where the you have unlimited group fitness classes. So if you're going to be like me and you're going to get your grub on, I'm gonna go burn some calories too. And usually it's just a 24 hour gym, but they actually include fitness classes, which is also awesome. Um, and just what is available on the ship. You can get tattoos. You can get all sorts of things on this boat. So I'm very excited to check out um, the nightlife, the entertainment, the whole experience. They utilize um, very similar to Disney where you get the band. So you use, they're going to mail, they mail it to your house in advance and you have this band that um, everything is encoded with. So you pay with the band, everything is the band. So I'm interested to see how that experience goes as well as to see how their app behaves on the ship. I have heard rumblings about the app being a little bit buggy, but I mean, as we said, this is, they're just using this app for the first time. So 
I expect iterations. So we'll see what happens between now and December. A lot can happen when it comes to apps from a development standpoint. And let me just share a little bit. Um, now, there are quite a few um, types of rooms in the cabin, cabin room types. I'm just gonna share with you a little bit about the basic inside ocean view or what they call sea view and sea terrace. There are different categories within each group because you have a regular insider, you have a, social insi a solo insider, which is a one person room. You have a social insider, which could be three or four friend groups. And um, same thing with, different kinds of sea views, different kinds of uh, sea terraces, which is their balcony rooms. Then you also have the different suites and rock star suites. So I'm just gonna share a little bit about what some of the rooms look like to kind of give you an idea. So this here is a standard um, inside view. Looks cozy to me, um, not too narrow, not too dark. I think it's, it's a great option for those who, you know, want to get on the cruise, but might not necessarily want to see the water <laughs> from their room or, you know, this might be what they can afford at the time. I think if, if this is your first cruise or it's your 50th cruise, you know, an inside can be what you like. I mean, I like insides too, until I stayed in the balcony and it changed my life, but I like insides too. And then of course, we also have what I also think is a great option for those who, you know, maybe a balcony is not for them. Maybe they have um, height fears, but you do want to see the ocean and a sea view is lovely as well. You can look outside, but you know, you can't fall outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, as you can see, it's a lovely room, um, spacious, I feel, for a cruise ship. That is not a sweet room. Um, you don't feel like you're bumping into anything. Modern design, light and airy. I'm here for it. They utilize LED lights. The windows are tinted, which is also nice. Um, so if you do have your blinds open, they are tinted. So if you are in port, you don't have to worry about any old body just looking in on you, which is also fabulous. Um, they utilize eco sensors. So the lights will turn off and on when they notice movement, which is great, um, especially when you are walking into the room. You don't have to immediately reach over to turn on lights. And when you're leaving the room, the lights automatically shut off so that you're saving on energy, which is also great. And then we have um, the seat. Oh, actually, I'll show you a little bit here. So this is what the closet looks like. And as you can see, it's a real nice, simple closet, you close it. Um, it has foldable storage as well as open storage. I do like that I can just wheel my luggage right in there and put it down. Yeah. Or I can choose, especially if you have multiple pieces of luggage, because gen in general, you can put one, well, you can put one under the bed in traditional rooms. We know these beds are convertible beds. So there's probably, you're probably not able to store your luggage underneath the bed because it converts into a couch. So having it easy access to wheeling your luggage is definitely a plus. And then we also have um, my fave, the sea terrace, which is where the balcony room is. And um, as you can see, it's, Generally, still still spacious, not huge, because these are cabins, <laughs> these are not suites, but it's definitely a nice vibe. As I mentioned before, light, bright, and airy. You have access to a balcony. Um, my favorite thing about the balcony is, of course, the hammock. I will be spending all my time on this hammock, swinging away and looking at the ocean. I don't know about others. I am not afraid of looking down at the water. So I'll be there with a nice drink. Or maybe some ice cream. I really like the color scheme. In the room. Yes, it is just calming. Right. This is calming. It's fresh because I do feel even some of the, the light bright area is important to me. Because as you know, I've been on, I'm a huge Norwegian fan and I've been on Norwegian cruise lines 
very recently, actually, right before the pandemic. And I do feel like their colors can be dark. Um, but seeing something so light and bright, I think it makes the room feel bigger than it is because yeah. it's not so dark and heavy. It just gives me more an illusion of space. And it is definitely an illusion because it's not there. <laughs> Because as we all know, there's yeah. not a whole lot of space. But I think that they use the pops of colors right. It um it just makes me feel like I just have room to maneuver and move around. Whereas, you know, might not necessarily felt that way in the past. And then in terms of the last major topic I want to talk about that we all want to talk about entertainment what kind of entertainment is on this ship lots okay lots <laughs> and i'm excited to check it out so they have as you know standard cruise fare broadway style entertainment they have cirque style shows so um with the acrobatics what i also want to mention is they have what they call micro plays which are like smaller interesting plays so instead of investing two hours, hour and a half, two and a half hours. It's much smaller, maybe like a 20 or 30 minute play, but you get a full story. Okay. I'm super interested in checking that out. They have multiple versions. Obviously they'll have the comedy clubs, the night shows, the lounges, the night clubs. Um, what I think is fascinating is they have private karaoke. So, you know, I'm going to be in there singing my can't sing a lick hard out. Okay. It's going to be on. I'm gonna be up in there like I'm like, oh, you know, I love some good karaoke. He's gonna be on. I'm excited. So I don't know about y'all might get a video of me singing terribly too. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm gonna be in there. I am excited. So anything you'd like to add to me? No, I believe you covered it all. All right. Well, have you been on Virgin Voyages? Have you experienced the Scarlet Lady? Let us know in the comments, as, as always, like, share, subscribe, ring that bell, um, join us on our, like our Facebook page, Instagram, we're, we're sharing tons of different types of content. Um, keep following us on YouTube. If you're not already following us, definitely follow us because we got lots coming your way, lots of helpful information, lots of interesting information, and then also sharing information about what we're doing and what our company's doing as well. So we're looking forward to connecting with you guys in the future and stay blessed and have a good one. See you later.